What's up guys, Giver here, <clears throat> and uh, it's time for another giveaway box. So, for the month of, I can't believe it's already March, um, for the month of March, as was requested on Patreon, we're going to open another box of rivals. Um, I picked up this box actually just about 20 minutes ago, just got back from local game store, did some Friday night standard and uh, ended up uh, splitting for top so um, got a little bit of store credit that's what I used to purchase this um, I still owe you guys a deck tech or whatever on my standard deck does pretty good did pretty good tonight um, so anyway this is the second box of rivals that we've opened and uh, I haven't I haven't yet done the drawing for the winner of the fate reforged commons uh, I'll be doing that sometime sometime this week uh, we'll get those out but for now let's go ahead and dig into this um, what am I looking for out of this set well I'd like to get some rekindling phoenixes um, and there's some there's some rares and mythics I think that I need for the for my set, but there's not a whole lot else that I'm looking for out of this. Um, I've got I'm pretty sure I've got all of the commons, um, and I'm pretty sure I've got a lot of the uncommons as well. So there should be pretty good giveaway coming from this um, in case you guys are new to the channel what we do is every month I open a box um, if the patreon amount once the patreon amount gets to like a hundred dollars I just I just keep the money in patreon uh, from the patreon subscribers once it reaches a hundred dollars then there'll be two boxes that month if uh, if it ever gets to the point where it's a hundred dollars a month then I'll just start opening two boxes every month and we give away um, everything you can check out the patreon in the link below if you want to check out how that works but uh, yeah we pretty much give away everything that that I don't need um, but if you're not interested in the patreon or whatever just by being a subscriber you can win the commons out of this set so without any further ado let's go ahead and open this um, since this will be the only box that we're opening this month I'll do this in three videos so here's the first stack we're gonna open so let's get right to it we're not really concerned too much with the commons uncommons we'll just go a flood of recollection aquatic incursion and shake the foundations and our rare is a flip card so we got a Adonis climb Oop, hit the hit the camera there so it puts a plus one plus one counter on a creature uh, if a creature ever has more than pl three plus one plus one counters on it, then you transform this. And when you transform it, uh, you get to put a creature, uh, or a creature that you have gets flying and plus X plus X, where X is its power. It also adds a mana of any color to your mana pool. So it's actually pretty cool. It's, uh... Pretty neat to combo that with, uh, um, oh shoot, I can't remember. I'm, I'm in the, um, Magic Arena beta. It's pretty cool when it releases. It'll be pretty neat, but there's a, there's a deck that, that plays with that Hadana's Climb. It's like a explore counter deck type thing. It's pretty cool. Anyway. Jungle Creeper, Resplendent Griffin, Silver Gill Adept, and Zatalpa Primal Dawn. Pretty cool Elder Dinosaur guy. I don't think you're going to see much, see it used much in standard, but uh, 
but it's an elder dinosaur, so it's big and it's mean. Um, all right. Merfolk Mistbinder. Always glad to see those. Those are really cool. Forsaken Sanctuary. Raging Regisaur. And hey, it's a Galta. I'm sure everybody already knows what Galta does. His casting cost is reduced by the power of the creatures you control. And he's a 12-12 Trampler. So, that's pretty, pretty cool. He does see some play in Standard. There's a couple guys at, uh, at the local shop that I play with that, that runs Galta. I have... I've been trampled over many a time. At Zoken Seer, Highland Lake, Expel from Araska, and World Shaper. Four mana for 3-3. Three, three. Whenever he attacks, put the top three cards of your library into the graveyard. And when he dies, put all the land cards from your graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. I have never seen anybody play with him. <clears throat> So. Next up, Foul Orchard, Siren Reaver, Needletooth Raptor, and Protean Raider. 2 2 with Raid. If you attack with a creature, you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. So, that's kind of cool. Doesn't really seem to play though. So, these are cool. So far I'm liking the uncommons that I pulled more than the, more than the rares. Legion Lieutenant, it's just a plus one, plus one to all your vampires. It's pretty good. Arterial Flow. Stormfleet Sprinter. And looks like we're going to have another flip card here. Storm the Vault. Whenever one or more creatures you control do a combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. And at the end of your turn, if you have five or more artifacts, which the tre treasure tokens are artifacts, then... You can transform this, turns into the Vault of Catlican. And uh, it basically just gives you a bunch of blue mana for how many artifacts you have. I don't... I've never seen anybody play with that. Woodland Stream, Siren Reaper, Daring Buccaneer, and Slaughter the Strong. Each player chooses any number of creatures. He or she controls the power four or less, then sacrifices all other creatures he or she controls. Um, so... I guess, I guess it's okay. It's only three mana, so it's okay if you're playing like against a, a big dinosaur type deck that's that's going to go big. But, uh, yeah. And we have a foil rare. It's a golden guardian. I like this card. It doesn't see much play. It doesn't see really any play. But I still think it's cool. Um, it's a 4-4 four, four with Defender. It... You pay two mana, and it has to fight one of your creatures. Um, but if it dies, then it turns into this uh, Golem Factory. Pay four mana, you get a 4-4 four, four Golem. So it can get kind of out of control if you let it. But it can be kind of hard to, uh, to, to get it to transform. Unless you're going to kill one of your own creatures. you, you got to have something beefy out that can, that can take a hit of four. 
but maybe it's not that bad. I mean, I guess in certain situations, if you had it, and, uh, you know, you can kill one of your creatures, like a 4-4 four -four or something, and uh, then you got a golem factory, you can keep pumping out 4-4s. Four -four it's also it's also a pretty good combo with uh, the uh, Rekindling Phoenix, because that thing will hit the Rekindling Phoenix, which will allow that to transform, and then the Rekindling Phoenix will come back. So... Foul Orchard, Forerunner of the Heralds, Thrashing Brontodon, and another Elder Dragon. Tali, Primal Storm. He's pretty cool, 6-6 six, six for 6. And when he attacks, you exile the top card of your library and the top card of your opponent's library. And you can cast those without uh, paying mana. So it's pretty neat. The problem with him is he's a 6-6, six, six, and he doesn't have haste or anything like that. So you pretty much gotta, he's gotta sit around for the rest of your turn and your opponent's turn before he can actually do anything. And in this format, it with all these Vraska's Contempts and all this insanity um, being played, I could see how it might be kind of tough to cast him. By the time you get to turn six, if you're playing against an aggro deck or something, you're probably so far behind that uh, that a 6-6 six, six isn't going to matter. And uh, if you're playing against a control deck, well, good luck casting him. At least that's what I've seen. There were a couple people trying to play him in, uh, in some like red-green type decks, but it just didn't seem to work. Blazing Hope. Cherished Hatchling. Dire Fleet Neckbreaker. Oh! Nice. So, most expensive card in the set. Rekindling Phoenix. Um, it's going to be our first mythic of the box. And that's a good mythic to get. This guy's worth about 25 bucks. Um, in case you don't know, 4-3 flying for only 4 mana. Um, and when he dies... You create this little zero one, like candle token thing, and at the beginning of your upkeep, that token will sacrifice itself and bring Rekindling Phoenix back. So, unless they've got like a Vraska's Contempt, where they've got something to uh, kill the Phoenix, put it in the graveyard, and then kill the token, um, or unless they've got some way to like kill the Phoenix and interact with it and exile it from the graveyard then uh, this thing is really annoying. And, you know, even when you lay this out, if they don't have, like, a Vraska's Contempt and they do waste two uh, removal spells to kill the Phoenix and then kill the other thing, you're already ahead. So this thing is super good. Really like it. There's the, there's the combo. <laughs> Enter the Unknown, Crested Herd Caller, Famished Paladin, and Dead Man's Chest. Um, so you put this on a creature the opponent controls, and when that creature dies, exile cards equal to its power from the top of its owner's library, and you can cast any non-land cards from among them as long as they remain exiled, and you can spend mana of any color to do it. So. You don't see this played very much, but it is cool. I, I like this card. Um, I don't know. I like this card. I like, I'm, I'm partial to anything that kind of mills your opponent a little bit. Back when I was a, when I was a kid, like around Revised and stuff like that, when the Revised and uh, the Dark, those sets, I had a mill mill deck so anything that mills people's library I don't know I'm really partial to and I really I don't know I like that card so anyway see red baffling in that's a cool card and one thing about this card that a lot of people um, well when the set first came out a lot of things that people got uh, confused about on this is you know you cast baffling end and 
the opponent's creature never comes back. It's not like one of those cards where if you get rid of Baffling End, then the creature returns to the battlefield. No, this thing just exiles the creature. That's it. And then if they deal with this enchantment, then they get a 3-3 Dinosaur. But uh, they'll never get that other card back. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Aquatic Incursion. And we have a Temple. Altasaur is our rare. Uh, five mana for 3-4. And if Source would deal damage to another dinosaur you control, prevent all but one of that damage. These things are cool. Um, they're kind of cool with, uh, you know, those those decks that, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, ah, shoot, I can't remember. Whenever something deals damage, then the effect triggers. Uh, my brain just went completely dead. But anyway, like Polyraptor, things like that, where you deal damage to something, and then something happens. Well, this, this makes that damage, uh, you know, not kill whatever you're hitting I just completely explained that wrong so last pack I'm already super stoked from this box from getting that Phoenix so I'm happy Relentless Raptor Highland Lake Ravenous Chupacabra, one of the better uncommons in the in the set. Love this thing. And Sphinx's Decree is a rare two mana sorcery. Each opponent cast, can't, can't cast instant or sorcery spells during that player's next turn. Yeah, not too great. So anyway, huh? whoop. So there we go guys, um, not too bad, after, uh, I mean our rares, if it wasn't for that phoenix, I would say that this is kind of janky, but that phoenix uh, really, really helped out. So anyway, um, as always, leave a comment down below, uh, let me know what kind of standard deck you guys play. Um, I'm going to do a little deck tech on my my deck. I, I, it's, a, it's a control deck. It, there's not a whole lot to talk about, but it is pretty effective. Um, and yeah, that's it. So again, uh, don't forget, check out that Patreon if you're interested in winning uh, some cards. If you're not a subscriber, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And uh, you'll be entered in to uh, win these commons as long as you are both a subscriber and you make a comment down below. Um, and yeah, other than that, I think uh, I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and get this uploaded, and next week we'll open the rest. Uh, that's all I got, guys. So appreciate you watching. Thanks for the support. You guys have a most excellent weekend. Peace.